Hello, math friends. Today's lesson is called What's the Difference? Learning targets. I can fluently subtract 20 using mental strategies. And I can make a bar graph and solve simple comparison problems using the data. Help Susie and Fred figure out the difference between their scores. Susie has six and Freddie has three. The difference between six and three is three. Six minus three is three. You can use your rec and rec to help you solve the problems. Let's try another one. Susie has four and Freddie has eight. Can you take eight away from four? Nope, so we flip the numbers to find the difference. When we take find the difference, we always start with the biggest number. Eight minus four is, that's right, four. Remember, four and four is a double of eight. Let's continue to help Susie and Fred. Let's look. Use your number rack and show the scores. Susie has nine and Freddie has five. The difference between nine and five is, Four, good job. Let's do another one. Susie has zero and Freddie has six. Can I take six away from zero? Nope, so I gotta switch those. Six take away zero is, that's right, it's zero. Now let's take all of Susie's scores and put them in the boxes. She had six, four, nine, and zero. Let's add them up to see what her total points are. We know that six and four equals 10. So we are using the strategy of friendly number with 10. 10 and nine is 19. Let's look at Freddie's scores. Freddie had three, eight, five, and six. Hmm, what can I do to make this easier? You could just use the Reckon Reckon and add each one. But I see a strategy we've learned. Can you find the double? I know five and three is eight. So eight and eight is the double of 16. Now I need to add the other six. 16 <clears throat> plus six. Add it up on your number rack and you will get 22. Which bug won? The fly won. But by how much? Write a subtraction equation to solve. Hmm, I could say 22 minus 19. Hmm, if I use the mental strategy of a friendly number, I can say 22 minus 20 is two. Then I add one more and I get the answer three. Three is the difference. Great job. Now we're gonna learn to play the game, what's the difference? Okay friends, you're gonna need a partner to play this game, what's the difference? In this game, you can print off the sheet so that you each have your own score. I also recommend using the whiteboard and having your number rack. Partner one will pick two cards. Each of you will have your own scorecards and you'll each solve your own problems. So partner one has seven and two. Mark it in the boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two. On your number rack, you can do seven on the top and two on the bottom. What is the difference between seven and two? That's right, it is five. And the equation is seven minus two equals five. Partner two will do the same on theirs and communicate to their partner. Partner one will continue. Pick two cards, one and zero. One and zero. Mark it. The difference between one and zero, this was easy, one. One minus zero equals one. Partner two's turn. 
Partner three, or partner one, pick your cards, six and eight. Remember, when I subtract, I must always start with the higher number. So I'm going to write six and eight, but I need to remember when I do my equation. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The difference between six and eight. Hmm, on your number rack, you will have seen two. When I write my equation, I must always start with the larger number. I cannot take eight from six, but I can take six from eight. Eight take away six is two. Partner two's problem. Great job. Now partner one again. Ten and seven. So I write 10 and 7. I know that 10 is this whole row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10 and 7. The difference between 10 and 7, show this on your number rack. It is 3. So I write the equation. 10 take away 7 equals three. All right, once partner two has completed this part, you're ready now to figure out the who won. First, you're going to circle all of your responses. So I have five, one, two, and three. I need to add those up. Five and one is six, plus two more, eight, plus three more, 9, 10, 11. My score is 11. My partner's score was 10. Hmm, which one was the greater number? 11 was greater than 10. You'll see that I have the greater sign here. The alligator always eats the bigger number. If you go to this page, you can challenge yourself by pulling four cards and seeing if you can solve using four cards instead of two cards. Have fun!